是好不好呢？So a fruity cold draw. Let's see how it tastes. Let's light it up. Sorry about that. I look at it. The Netherlands are playing soccer and they scored a goal. So yeah. We'll cover a variety of tips and strategies that can help you get a better night rest. Let's start with the sleep hygiene. sleep and wake cycle so your body can get used to the time of waking up and sleeping you should also create a restful environment your bedroom should be quiet dark and cool if it's not quiet you should you could consider using airplug an eye mask or blackout curtains if necessary uh, personally I have blackout curtains I uh, cannot sleep with earplugs or eye masks because I have a feeling that it uh, I just can't sleep with them they annoy me um, what you should also have is comfortable bedding make sure your mattress and pillows are comfortable and supportive different preferences so choose what works best for you I like my uh, mattress a bit harder my wife likes them a bit softer um, you should limit your screen time before bed
your sleep hygiene is you should relax before bed establish a calming pre-sleep routine this could include reading a book taking a warm bath or practicing relaxation exercises summer and the final part the diet and nutrition is that you should stay hydrated but not too much drink enough water throughout the day but try to limit fluid intake close to bedtime to avoid waking up for bedroom trips there's nothing more annoying than waking up at three o'clock having to take a pee Consider um, a magnesium supplement that is which 
I use because I also work out a lot. essential for the production of uh, neurotransmitters that regulate sleep. You can find these in varieties of foods including fish, poultry, eggs and dairy. I don't know if meat also contains them but I know that um, a lot of vegans and vegetarians need to take B supplements because uh, I think but I don't quote me on this but that most B vitamins are found in uh, meats and dairy like um, I don't think that uh, fruits and salads and uh, vegetables and stuff like that contain B vitamins some 
other useful tips. Uh, oof, let me see some additional strategies to improve your sleep quality. I would say limit your naps. Um, during the day, while well, short naps can be refreshing, long or irregular napping during the day can negatively affect your nighttime sleep. If you must nap, try to limit it to 20 to 30 minutes maybe, but don't go sleeping for one or two hours during the day. That's really bad. So manage your stress. Stress and anxiety are a major sleep disruptor. Techniques such as mindfulness, meditation, sleep breathing exercises can help manage stress levels. Like I think most of the burnout diseases and sickness and everything is because of stress that we as humans really uh, don't realize how much effect um, long-lasting stress has an effect on us. Like having stress is perfect when you have things to really stress about, but in short cycles. Like if you go for a job application, you should be a little bit stressed that is that the flight and fight switch that you know you function a bit better and when a, when a, I don't know when a lion starts attacking you what's up with these planes today you are tired and 
so sleep deprived, you are stressed, and that can turn into a vicious cycle. And remember, you cannot catch up on sleep. If you slept 5 hours today and sleep 10 hours tomorrow, that won't help. You should have every day the least amount of sleep that you, you and your body need. See it like this. You should go to sleep and especially wake up without the need for a, a alarm clock. I believe that waking up with an alarm clock is the most unnatural thing that exists. <laughs> so if you need an alarm clock, you're just not going to bed on time. That's my hypothesis on it, if hypothesis is the right word. In conclusion, improving sleep quality is multifaceted. It's an approach that involves lifestyle changes, dietary adjustment, um, creating a conductive sleep environment. By incorporating these strategies, you can enhance your sleep and consequently your overall health. Remember, good sleep is a core cornerstone of well-being. So pre per, um, remember, good sleep is a cornerstone of well-being. So prioritize it as a part of your daily routine. Thank you for listening, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this video. Wish you all the best. Have a good night. Have a good life.